repent from her sin? Huh? Did she repent from her sin? I didn't do it. Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to the homestead. So today we are gonna start working on my big garden. And in order to start working on the big garden, I need to figure out where I'm gonna section off the pigs from the garden. So we went ahead and we purchased some portable electric wire and we're gonna see if we can put that up halfway through the garden so that the pigs can be on one side and my garden can be on the other as well as training them to that wire so that eventually we can take off the fencing and I can use all these t-posts for something else so let's head into the garden and start figuring this out so another reason why we're doing this right now is we're gonna need this netting for the chickens when we put them out to pasture and that is only gonna be a couple weeks from now so we want to go ahead and get this taken down taken care of because we are expecting a lot of rain the next week and this will be saturated and horrible to work in once it starts raining so we're gonna go ahead and do this right now we're gonna go ahead and fold this up take it to where we normally have the chickens and this will be ready to use at that time Is the fun part building my muscles? All right, so we picked some of these up. These are T post wraparound extender insulators for the T post, and this is what the T posts go right here. This is what we're gonna wrap the poly wire around and that's what will be electrified. And because the T-posts are metal, you need to have plastic because metal will just ground it out. So these have to be on it and this is what the poly wire will go around. All right, so we went ahead and we got all these attached to all the T-posts that we have. After talking about it, we decided we're gonna go ahead and attach these to the barn. Uh, hubby is gonna go ahead and screw these into the barn. That way we can attach the wire to that and it goes from one length all the way from the barn around to the other side of the barn and they do make the little latches so eventually we're gonna have to get a latch to put on there so that way we can come in and out of the garden if not or in and out of the pig pen for now we're just gonna be using the barn to go in and out that will be perfectly fine until we get the hook to actually attach Now it's time to run the poly wire. All right, friends, so the last thing that we needed to do was to get the electric part going. We've got the ground right here. We've got our electric solar panel right here, and we have everything connected. We went ahead and did four strands of the poly wire. This way it will keep the pigs from jumping because Mr. Hagrid surprised us by jumping out of one of the pins. He jumped from the middle pin to the first pin because we were feeding Hermione and he didn't want to come through so we had closed it off. He saw that she was eating and he actually jumped the fence to get to the food. So just because of him, we needed to make sure we put this a little bit higher than normal. I left this open so that way the wire doesn't touch the metal fence and I can get through right here into my garden. 
We also put the wires, the bottom wire up high enough to where the pigs can't dig and put dirt on top of it, which would then ground this whole wire out if they were to put anything on top of the wire. But I am excited. Now it is time to let them free. So let me go inside and we're gonna open this up and we're gonna let them out. All right, my father-in-law is gonna let them out right now and we're gonna see how they do with this wire. Well, it worked. <laughs> we'll see as long as they don't keep testing it, but it did work. That's the main thing. It's keeping him in. Yeah, he keeps shaking his head. He's got something in his ear. Yep. What's wrong with that? His ear. What's wrong with it? I don't know, but he keeps shaking his head and he's turning it to one side. Oh, maybe he's, he's got something in his ear. So we're noticing right now Mr. Hagrid is kind of turning his head to one side and shaking his head a lot, favoring that one ear. So I think he's got something inside of his ear or he might have a little bit of an ear infection. So we're gonna monitor that and I'm gonna go ahead and check it out and see, probably call my local vet and ask him what we should be doing for that. Cause there's no way I am putting him in the back of my car and taking him to the vet. <laughs> so I will be researching that right now. All right, friends, so we are back from town. We ended up going to our local vet down there and asked him what we should do for Mr. Hagrid. And they gave us uh, some solution to put in his ear and see if that will help relieve his discomfort. And hopefully there is no infection involved. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna try to get him separated so that I can feed him and then quickly put the solution in both ears. All right, Hagrid. Well, that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. He took that really, really easy. So while we were in town, we picked up the latch that we need so we can get in and out of the pig pen. Hubby is gonna grab that from the truck right now and we're gonna go ahead and attach it. That way we can get in and out of this area if we need to. I don't really foresee us needing to get in there, but if we ever have to, we can. It was definitely a productive day. All right, friends, thanks for hanging out with me today as we get our pig pen all situated and they can now come out and roam around safely with the electric wire. And now I can get started on my big garden here in the next week or so. I wanna get in here and fertilize it. I, need, I know I need 10, 10, 10 fertilizer in this garden for sure. And I wanna be able to start maintaining it, getting it ready and prepped for spring. So friends, I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. As always, I hope all is well and have a blessed day.